you here this week? Yes. Oh, yeah. I, I sure was. Our Mashby Channel 3 on the Montana Tele. How many years have you been married, Mr. Dickerson? You got it? One, two, three. Mary had a little. Nancy Dickerson, one of the nation's outstanding television news correspondent, is our guest today. Nancy is in Montana, making her only Montana appearance in Great Falls as a Junior League Celebrity Series lecturer. Considered the first lady of television news, Mrs. Dickerson was the first woman news correspondent for CBS in 1960, and in that year became the first woman on TV to report from the floor of a national convention. In 1963, she moved to NBC, where she was the only woman to have a daily network TV news show. At that time, Today in Montana carried Nancy Dickerson's national news show. She has brought great credit to our industry, and we're very privileged to have her with us today. And welcome, Nancy Dickerson, to Montana. Well, thank you, Norma. Having been on your program for years from Washington, it's nice to be on it from Great Falls. You bet. At the time that you were doing network news, in the beginning at least, you were the only one doing what you're doing. Today, we see many other women. So would you say today we've arrived in the business of not having such tokenism for women in broadcasting as we did when you were beginning? Oh, sure. I always tell the story of how every station used to want to have one woman and one black. And if they could have a black woman, their tokenism would be taken care of with one fell swoop. Mm -hmm. Today you do Inside Washington, a syndicated news program. And tell us a little bit about that and how far it's seen across the country. Well, uh, it's a series of news analysis that I have done. I have temporarily now just stopped it because I'm writing a book. I've sold it to Random House, and I'm writing it about Washington, partially autobiographical. We don't know whether the working title is going to be off camera or not, but that's one of the things we're thinking about. And it'll be a bit about the Kennedy administration, Johnson and Nixon, mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit about the Ford. So that's really taking up most of my time right now. So I'm not doing too much about Inside Washington. As a woman in our industry watching you uh, on the national, international scene, Nancy, for years I have admired your ability to keep your cool, to control yourself in very hectic times. I'm thinking particularly of your outstanding coverage of the Kennedy assassination. And I wonder how you have done this. What has been your, your secret for keeping your composure in some very difficult times? I, I guess I don't know that there's a secret, but I wasn't always, I guess, so composed. I remember uh, covering the 1960 convention when Jack Kennedy and Lyndon Johnson had a debate before the Texas delegation. And I'd never done an on-the-air live running commentary similar to Oh, reporting a, a sports event, you know, it would be like uh, doing one of the prize fights. And I don't think I was very cool or composed. But I think you have a sense of where you are, particularly the Kennedy assassination. All of us were so swept up with the tragedy and the dreadfulness of it all that you just kind of went along with it. Uh, I think the most irritating thing on all of television is, is you and I are talking. There are sometimes people who wish to be helpful, but always are not. A floor man or um, other people who aren't on the air. Uh, and uh, they sometimes can be very disconcerting. But the audience doesn't know that. All they know is there's some idiot up there talking. Why aren't they behaving better? And uh, you can't explain, uh, well, there's a floor man over there who's doing a hula dance to try and get you off the air. Or <laughs> when you're on live television, for example, at a political convention, I've had people walk over my feet. And I, I you know, just like to give them a good kick. I, and you don't do that. Have you ever broken up on the air? Oh, oh yes, sure. I had uh, a couple of times when you mispronounce words, you break up. And uh, on talk programs like this, I have. We've had uh, funny things happen. I can't think of any of that, but uh, not in the news, because the news is usually so dreary. Mm -hmm. I think it would be interesting to have you give sentence descriptions of the presidents you've known, and let's begin with President Kennedy. Oh, that's what Bill, uh, they always ask Bill Buckley to do. I asked Bill myself to do that one time. It's, it's sort of hard to do off the top of your head. President Kennedy, uh, from the personal point of view, or? Right, or from the president point of view. Well, maybe from the personal. That would be more interesting to us, because you got to know him personally. He was one of the first young men I met in Washington and uh, used to go out with him. He was, I suppose he's got to be the most sexually attractive president there's probably ever been. Okay. 
And I'll, now let's move to President Johnson. Personally. Personally. <laughs> uh, he's, he, he was terribly earthy and powerful. He, you always knew he was around, as if from a personal point of view. He had, he had tremendous personal power. Okay, we'll pick up with President Nixon next. Oh, are, do we go on? Yeah, we're, we just... I see. That was beautiful. Thank you. Oh. Have you gotten to know personally Leslie Stahl and Catherine Mack? And do you know any of those women or, or do you have a case? Have you ever been on an airplane and had to choose this